All right, so in the last video, I had this new 750 tank sitting here on the frame and love the way that it looks. I didn't mention it in the previous video, but this is from a 4 into onecom and it's the CB750K uh, tank that was on a 75 to 76, 750 bike. Uh, but I need to get the mounting points figured out. So if I pull this off, so while I thought getting a bike that already had a cafe attempt would somehow make this easier, it's really, I think, just proven to be more work than uh, had I started with a stock bike and I'd have to undo so much work. But with the 400T tank that was previously on there, uh, the previous owner had moved the mounting posts from this hole here up to here, and I think this was one of the tabs that I had cut off, that then the rubber mount goes over, but that helped shift the tank forward. And actually the reason that they did that, I think, uh, was to be able to clear the petcock uh, from not hitting either the carb or the top of the engine and fitting in that space. Uh, something though that the 750 tank fits much better uh, had it been in the original mounting point. So I sheared off the posts that were here so that I could get the tank, the new tank to sit where I'd like it to, uh, just to optically make sure that it fits uh, both in alignment there as well as the petcock alignment in between the carbs and the engine. And then previously here in the back, they had this piece that was uh, welded here that secured the tank. Uh, but now the tank's moved back and actually I think I can use this threaded hole here uh, for my mounting. I just need to figure out how to make it work and get enough rubber support so that it doesn't vibrate. Something that's kind of amusing though, I'm pretty sure this is actually from uh, a Honda CT70. It's the piece that goes across the shock tower to mount the exhaust. I'm sure there were some other Honda bikes that had something similar, but it's funny as far as a crossover from the CT stuff I'm working on that it seems to follow me onto this build as well. So this came off pretty cleanly. There's a little hole here that I think I'll just get a spot weld on and otherwise grind this off to be clean. But then just need to figure out how I mount the rest of the tank right here. All right, so the original post that was here that had been cut off, my plan was to put a rod all the way through and just do a couple tack welds and figured it would hold. But I think the original tube was probably hollow and when they cut it off, there's still a channel that goes all the way through uh, to the other side. So if I were to drill it out, my fear is that uh, the piece would, the piece inside would fall off and rattle around somewhere in the head tube, head tube here where I couldn't get to. Uh, so I figured since this hole was about six millimeters and actually just a little bit bigger, uh, I bought a quarter inch threaded rod that perfectly fits through. I've got a little spacer and nut that I've cut down to size and I think is pretty perfect. The rod keeps everything lined up and this mounts perfect. All right, and I've got the rear mounted here. It took a lot of bending, a little bit of drilling, but I was able to use the original hole. I actually just have a bolt that's running uh, through that hole. I think that was like an M8 hole and I just have this M6 bolt. Uh, but with this fender washer, it is very secure and there's no flex in the tank at all. I do have a couple of pieces of rubber uh, underneath the tank on the sides uh, and it's pulling down then in the center so that it's not moving at all. And I think now I've got a great area to build the seat pan because I can come over this portion and down through here. And then you can see here that the petcock just barely fits in between the head and the carb. It's real close to the head here, but it's not tightened. You can see there's just enough play that I can do a final tightening without it actually uh, touching any portion of the bike. All right, I've got all the electronics off. I'm probably not going to reuse any of it, to be honest. The wiring harness was cut and spliced so many ways that I don't think I could track it down. I'll probably just buy a new stock CB650 wiring harness and start from there. The gauges were strange, the ignition was strange, everything was strange. So I uh, took it all off. I've got it in the box in case I reuse any of it, but uh, down much more to the basics. I'm doing some final work here in the seat area because I want to have as much of that open triangle as possible. I'm gonna do a battery uh, down here where the uh, dual kickstand usually mounts. I have a regular kickstand. This will be, this kickstand will be changed because this is also strange. Everything on this bike is strange, but uh, I'm gonna build a pretty flush pan here, but I'm trying to build some mounts to support the seat and give me just enough room to get all of the electronics except for the battery right here. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and build the seat.
All right, so the seat after I trimmed it up fits perfectly. It's very solid and I was able to cut it uh, neatly along the lines of the rear of the frame. It lines up perfectly with the tank. I've got the tank off right now because I've been working on a few other things. And the next thing was to secure it. So I'm planning on using this bar here to drill two holes and two holes and this hole here for one in the front uh, so that I can access them from the bottom and secure that. And that should do a good enough job. But before I did that, I wanted to figure out the electronics tray because that's going to use some of the same holes. So I spent a few hours cutting and bending this 22 uh, gauge piece of sheet metal into what you see here. Uh, and it still needs a lot of refinement. It's pretty rough. And let me get this in here and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna drill two holes through here that'll hold both uh, the rear side of the tray as well as the seat pan down. Uh, and similarly, one bolt will hold and secure the front of the tray as well as the seat. And then I'm going to put two uh, standoff posts here in the middle to have it secured so that uh, it's flush along the side of the frame and gives me that open triangle look that I was going for. I think I'll be able to fit a low profile battery here, starter solenoid. Uh, I need to figure out some type of power distribution block. I have been looking at that Moto Gadget a Bluetooth unit that looks pretty neat uh, and then regulator rectifier and the other components I've got open space here so it should be enough room for everything and then again the seat will neatly fit over all of that so uh, from here I've got to get the seat upholstered although that may be later on in the process uh, I need to finish up this tray and get the holes drilled so that I know everything fits correctly there's still some grinding that I need to do my ugly welds here and uh, some of the other cutoff pieces need to get cleaned up. And then I think I take it all apart and get it to the powder coater for um, a final coat so that I can start putting it back together. Anyway, appreciate everybody following this build so far. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.